Welcome to another episode of Seven Minutes Medicine. Today we'll talk about adrenal incidentaloma. So first, the incidentaloma is a mass more than one centimeter in size. And the two most important questions you have to ask yourself when you see this finding is, first, is it malignant? And second, is it functioning? You have to answer those two questions to decide what you should do next. Starting by the first question, is it malignant? And that depends on three main factors. First, the size. If the size is more than four centimeter, this is most likely malignancy or free chromocytoma. Second, the house field units and this is a way to measure the density of the tissue for example the kidney a uh, solid tissue that it is measuring 20 to 150 house field units compared to fat which is negative house field units so the lower the better less likely to be malignancy for example, if the house field unit is less than 10, this goes more with adenoma. If the house field unit is more than 10 or 20, this goes more with malignancy or few chromocytoma. The third factor is the contrast washout of the CT scan in 10 minutes. Like this is the, the washout of the contrast material from the mass after 10 minutes if it's fast this is more benign so if there is more than 50 percent wash out after 10 minutes this goes with adenoma if less than 50 percent this goes more with malignancy or fear chromocytoma other features that are helpful in differentiating the type of the mass is first, for example, if it's smooth, it is most likely adenoma, especially if it's less than four centimeter. If it's increase in vascularity, cystic and hemorrhagic changes, this goes more with chromocytoma. If it's irregular in shape, more than four centimeter, and has calcification, this goes more with the carcinoma. And if it's bilateral, irregular, this goes with metastasis. We answered the first question. The second question is, is it functional? So, if the, if the mass is more likely to be adenoma, like it's less than 10 house field units, and the washout more than 50%, then we have to rule out subclinical Cushing syndrome with low dose dexamethasone suppression test and DIA. So, if the test is positive for subclinical Cushing syndrome, like Cushing syndrome without symptoms, then that there should be no suppression of the dexamethasone suppression test and no DIA. And we're going to have a lecture about Cushing syndrome diagnosis. Please check it out when it's released. Then you have to go to the next test confirmation for the Cushing syndrome, which can be 24-hour urine free cortisol, ACTH level is important to order it, and or uh, the 8 uh, milligram, the high dose dexamethasone suppression test. If it's all of this workup is negative, then we have to just do evaluation after one year just to confirm it is a non-functioning adenoma. If there is association with hypertension plus minus hypokalemia, then it may be advisable to do uh, aldosterone concentration on the renin activity. And we will not do that unless there is hypertension, and this is a common board question. If imaging suggests bilateral adenoma, then we might benefit from adrenal venous sampling. This is actually not 100% clear cut, and there is some kind of debate about this point. If it's um, the CT scan more than 10 household units and the washout is less than 50%, this goes more with malignancy or few chromocytoma. So, first we have to rule out few chromocytoma with the urine 
plasma fractionated metanephrine plus minus urinary catecholamine. Then the carcinoma with biopsy after ruling out few chromocytoma because we don't want hypertensive crisis. And it can help us to differentiate between metastatic versus primary adrenal disease. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate between carcinoma and adenoma on the pathology. Then the other question is the follow-up. Progression suggested and the surgery is kind of indicated in three main cases. First, if the mass to start with more than 4 cm after ruling out few chromocytoma, surgery probably the best shot. If there is significant growth, if there is hormonal autonomy, uh, that tells that the, this, the, this, the mass is kind of functioning, then we might need to do surgery. If there is no progression in the mass, uh, after four years of follow-up, then it is less likely to progress and we might need to stop uh, checking it after discussion with the risk and benefit with the patients. Uh, for the definitive management, few chromocytoma, it's a surgery. Aldosteronoma, like a mass producing aldosterone hormone, it's a surgery. Subclinical Cushing syndrome depend on the Discussion between the provider and the patient when to do surgery. It's kind of like expert opinion. And adrenal cancer, for sure, it is surgery. Thank you so much for watching our lecture. Please, if you enjoyed our content, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.